When you're really good at what you do, you tend to stand out from the crowd. While this is often a good thing, it can sometimes have its downsides, like drawing unwanted attention from competitors or becoming a target for bigger players in the field. This is precisely the situation unfolding between Russia's Roscosmos and SpaceX. Recently, Roscosmos announced its ambitious plan to compete directly with SpaceX's most successful rocket, the Falcon 9. In this video, we'll dive deep into this developing story and see whether Roscosmos could potentially surpass the Falcon 9 and how Musk has responded to this challenge. Before we get into the details, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest developments in the space world. If someone had suggested two decades ago that SpaceX would one day be competing with a giant like Roscosmos, many would have likely laughed it off. Back then, SpaceX was just a small company with an uncertain future, with some experts even predicting its failure within a few years. On the other hand, Roscosmos was already a major player in the space industry. Known for its historical achievements like launching the first man into space and building significant portions of the International Space Station. At the time, Roscosmos and NASA were the main competitors in the space race, and there seemed to be little room for newcomers, especially a private company like SpaceX, which was funded out of Musk's own pocket, and back then, Musk wasn't nearly as wealthy as he is today. Fast forward to today, and the tables have turned dramatically. SpaceX has emerged as the most successful space company, drawing both competitors and partners alike. While NASA has chosen to partner with SpaceX on numerous missions, Roscosmos has decided to take a different route by attempting to compete directly with them. Recently, the head of Roscosmos claimed that Russia's future rocket, the Amur, would have a first stage capable of being reused 50 to 100 times. He argued that this capability alone would justify the development costs of the Amur rocket. Such a claim directly targets the reusability record of SpaceX's Falcon 9, which has significantly lowered the cost of space access with its reusable technology. For example, one Falcon 9 booster, known as B-1049, holds the record for the most flights, having been launched and safely landed 13 times before retiring. The first stage of the Falcon 9 constitutes about 60% of the rocket's total cost. By reusing the first stage, SpaceX can potentially save millions per launch. Estimates suggest that the manufacturing cost of a Falcon 9 is around $62 million. If the first stage is reused even just a handful of times, the cost per launch decreases significantly. Shortly after the head of Roscosmos announced their ambitious plans, Musk responded with a simple yet bold statement. Bring it on. Musk's tweet reflects his confidence in SpaceX's Falcon 9 capabilities. But when we look at the achievements of this rocket, it's clear why Musk is so assured in its performance. The Falcon 9 holds the record as the most frequently launched rocket in history, surpassing even some of the most legendary rockets. In 2023 alone, SpaceX achieved a remarkable 98 launches and has set an ambitious target of 144 launches for 2024. Notably, about 90% of these launches utilize the Falcon 9, underscoring its reliability and the central role it plays in SpaceX's operations. Furthermore, the economics of using Falcon 9 are compelling. The cost for a single Falcon 9 launch is around $67 million, but when a reused booster is involved, the actual expense to SpaceX can drop to about $28 million. Turning back to Russia's plan for the Amur rocket, many experts are doubtful that Russia can develop this rocket soon. They're already facing big challenges like budget cuts and a lack of new ideas in their space programs. Plus, Russia, even though it's one of the top space players, isn't really known for cutting-edge innovations. Most of their current rockets, including their famous Soyuz, are just updated versions of old Soviet-era designs. This reliance on older technology might slow them down in trying to build a new. Moreover, there hasn't been much progress on the new Amur rocket, which raises doubts about whether it will actually be completed. It's supposed to be a medium-lift launch vehicle that can reuse its first stage. Even though there are big claims about what it can do, the rocket is still under development, and its first launch was planned for 2026. Now, 
With delays, it might not launch until 2028 or even later. It's tough to see how the Amur will catch up to the Falcon 9, which is already known as one of the most reliable rockets available. It's not only Roscosmos trying to compete with SpaceX. Commercial companies like Boeing have also attempted to match SpaceX's achievements, but it's not going well for them. After the retirement of the space shuttle, both Boeing and SpaceX decided to develop new spacecraft to carry astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Many believe that Boeing would easily win this race due to their long-standing history in the aerospace industry. SpaceX received approximately $3.1 billion from NASA for the development of the Crew Dragon. In contrast, Boeing received about $4.8 billion for its Starliner program. Despite receiving less funding, SpaceX successfully launched its Crew Dragon with astronauts on board for the first time in May 2020. Since then, Crew Dragon has become a regular vehicle for carrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station. I hear you asking about the Starliner. Well, it's not quite where everyone expected it to be. It first launched uncrewed in December 2019 as part of the Orbital Flight Test 1 mission. The mission encountered issues due to a timing error that prevented the spacecraft from docking with the International Space Station. It took until May 2022 for Boeing to attempt a second uncrewed test flight, which successfully docked with the International Space Station. Despite these advancements, Boeing has not yet conducted a crewed flight. For the crewed launches, Boeing has been attempting recent launches, but each time they've run into problems. The first crewed launch of the Starliner was initially set for May 6th. On that day, the Starliner was mounted atop the Atlas V rocket at Launch Complex 41, with two astronauts ready on board. However, just hours before liftoff, an issue with an oxygen relief valve in the Centaur stage forced the mission to be scrapped. This malfunction was detected about two hours before the scheduled launch, disrupting the fuel loading process. Consequently, United Launch Alliance called off the mission and unloaded the fuel. This launch was rescheduled for yesterday, but like previous attempts, faced issues and was canceled again. This time, the problem was a small helium leak in the spacecraft's service module, a disposable component that sits below the spacecraft and houses the thrusters and launch abort engines. The leak was traced to a flange on a single reaction control system thruster. Although helium is non reactive, it is essential for the operation of thrusters helping to fire them. To ensure the safety of the spacecraft and its crew, Boeing has decided to conduct a thorough investigation of the leak, which involves returning Starliner's propulsion system to its pre-launch condition and meticulously checking each component to prevent future leaks. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.